পবিত্র কোরআন থেকে তিলাওয়াত করবেন নবম শ্রেণীর শিক্ষার্থী রুকাইয়া আক্তার সে আরবি ও বাংলায় অনুবাদ করবেন নবম শ্রেণীর শিক্ষার্থী সুমাইয়া আক্তার সাথী সে ইংরেজিতে অনুবাদ করবে পবিত্র গীতা থেকে পাঠ পবিত্র গীতা থেকে পাঠ করবে শ্রাবণী রানী রায় জয়া এবং লগ্ন রানী আমি তাদেরকে প্রস্তুত থাকার জন্য বলছি এরপর আমরা যাব আমি আরও ঘোষণা করছি বিকেলে আমাদের পরবর্তী সেশনে যারা কুরআন থেকে তিলাওয়াত করবে মোহাম্মদ মাইদুল ইসলাম এবং শাহিব মাহমুদ পবিত্র গীতা থেকে পাঠ করবেন কুমারী বিথিরানী পাল এবং কুমারী সম্পারানী সকালে সেশনে যারা কবিতা আবৃত্তি করবে আমি তাদের নাম ঘোষণা করছি কবিতা আবৃত্তি করবেন শ্রাবণী রানী রায় জয়া কুমারী বিথিরানী পাল মুশফিরাত মাহবুবা শিক্ষা পরবর্তী সেশনে যারা কবিতা আবৃত্তি করবে মোছাম্মদ খালগুনি আক্তার মোহাম্মদ আব্দুল রাজ্জাক খন্দকার রাতি কুমারী মিষ্টি রানী লিপা না আমাদের আয়োজন শুরু হবে এখনই এবারে আমরা পবিত্র কোরআন থেকে তিলোয়াত শুরু করে দিচ্ছি মাইক <laughs> <laughs> শব্দরূপ জিজ্ঞেস করলে এমন অবাক হয়ে জানালার দিকে তাকিয়ে থাকত যে দেখে ভারী কষ্ট হতো আমাদের আমরা কেউ মাস্টার হতে চেয়েছিলাম কেউ ডাক্তার কেউ উঠে অমরকান্তি সেসব কিছুই হতে চায় না সে রোদ্দুর হতে চেয়েছিল খাদ্য বর্ষ কাক টাকা বিকেলে সেই লাজক রোদ্দ যা আমার জামুলের বাতায় যা নাকি অল্প একটু হাসির মতন দেখে আমরা কেউ মাস্টার হয়েছি কেউ ডাক্তার কেউ কে অমরকান্তি রোদ্দুর হতে পারে সে এখন অন্ধকার একটা ছাপাখানায় কাজ করে মাঝে মাঝে আমার সঙ্গে দেখা করতে আসে চা সেই অমল কান্তি রোদ্দুরের কথা ভাবতে 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 যে একদিন রোদ্দুর হতে চেয়েছিল ধন্যবাদ আমরা শিখার মুসফিরাত মাহবুবা শিখার কণ্ঠে সুন্দর একটি আবৃত্তি শুনলাম এবারে আমাদের দ্বিতীয় প্রতিযোগী কুমারী বিথি রানী পাল কেন ওঠে 
সাতটা কেন বাড়ে কমে জোয়ার কেন আসে বৃদ্ধ মাঝি অবাক হয়ে ফেল ফেলিয়ে হাসে বাবু বলেন সারা জন মন্দিরে তুই খাটি জ্ঞান বিনা তোর জীবনটা যে চারি আনাই মাটি খানিক পাদে কহেন বাবু বল তো দেখি ভেবে নদীর ধারা কেমনে আসে পাহাড় হতে নেবে বল তো কেন লবণ গুড়া সাগর ভরা পানি মাঝি সে কয় আরে মশাই অত কি আর জানি বাবু বলে এই বয়সে জানিস নেও তাকি জীবনটা তো নেহাত খেল অষ্ট আনায় ফাঁকি আবার ভেবে কহেন বাবু বল তো রে বুড়ো কেন এমন নীল দেখা যায় আকাশের ওই চুড়ো বল তো দেখি সূর্য চাঁদে গ্রহণ লাগে কেন বৃদ্ধ বলে আমায় কেন লজ্জা দেন হেন বাবু বলেন বলবো কি আর বলবো তোর কিতা দেখছি এখন জীবনটা তোর বারো আনায় বৃথা খানিক কাটে ঝড় উঠেছে ঢেউ উঠেছে ফুলে বাবু দেখেন নৌকা খানে ডুবলো বুঝি দুলে মাঝি এখন এ কি আপদ ওরে ও ভাই মাঝি ডুবলো নাকি নৌকা এবার মরব নাকি আজি মাঝি শুধায় সাঁতার জানো মাথা নাড়েন বাবু মূর্খ মাঝি বলে মশাই এখন কেন কাবু বাসলে শেষে আমার কথা হিসেব করো পিছে তোমার দেখি জীবন খানা ষোলো আনায় মিছে ধন্যবাদ আরো একটি সুন্দর পরিবেশনা শুনলাম এবারে আমাদের আজকের সকালে শেষ প্রতিযোগী শ্রাবণী রানী রায় জয়া হুমায়ুন কবিবের একটি লেখা মেঘনার ঢল শোন মা মিনা দেখে দে কাজ তরা করে মাঠে চল এলো মেঘনার জোয়ারে বেলা এখনই নামিবে ঢল নদীর কিনারা ঘন ভাসে ভরা মাঠ থেকে গরু নিয়ে আয় তরা করিস না দেরি আসিয়া পড়িবে সহসা থই জল মাঠ থেকে গরু নিয়ে আয় তরা মেঘনায় নামে ঢল এখনো তো মেয়ে আসে নাই ফিরে দুপুর যে বয়ে যায় ধরা জোয়ারে মেঘনার জল কুলে কুলে উছলায় নদীর কিনার জলে একাকার যেদিকে তাকাই অথই পাথার দেখত গোহালে গরুগুলো রেখে গেছে কি ও পাড়ায় এখনও তো আসে নাই সে কি দুপুর যে বয়ে যায় ধর বেলা গেল ভাটা পড়ে আসে আধার জমছে আসি এখনও তবু এলো না ফিরিয়া আমি না সর্বনাশী দেখ দেখ দূরে মাছ দরিয়ায় কালো চুল যেন ওই দেখা যায় কাহার শাড়ির আচল আভাস সহজ উঠেছে ফাঁসি আমি নারে মোর নীলকি টানিয়া মেঘনা সর্বনাশী ধন্যবাদ আমরা আজকে তিনজন কবিতা প্রতিযোগীর কবিতা শুনলাম তাদের সকলের কবিতায় যে বিষয়টি খুব কাজ থেকে ধরা দিয়েছে সেটি হচ্ছে কবিতার যে তাল লয় সেই জায়গায় একটু গ্যাপ থেকেই গেছে তো এবারে আমরা আরেকটি পরিবেশনায় যাব আমরা এর ফলাফল পরে ঘোষণা করব এখন আমরা আরেকটি অনুষ্ঠানের আয়োজনের দিকে যাব আমি এখন পরিবেশিত হবে
सक्सेस स्टाडी होम कोचिंग आयोजित आज के आयोजन ये मुहूर्ते आकशन पदार्पण करब शना डिबेट कम्पिटन डिबेट कम्पिटन जरा डिबेटर आज नाम घोषणा कर सकले एके निज आसन ग्रहण कर पक्ष दल प्रथम बक्ता सुमार साथी The debate session arranged by Success Study Home and the Kabila Barapil Gaza Rakhto. Today, our topic points are getting lazy for the impact of information technology. There are two teams. One is in position and other is in opposition team. At first, I would like to introduce you with the position team, the students of class 9. The first speaker from the position team, Sumaya Akhtar Shathi. Second speaker from the position team, Rofi Kul Mundo. Rofi Kul Mundo. Rofi Kul Mundo. Third speaker and team leader from the position team, Rukai Yata. Thanks. Now, the turn for opposition team, the first speaker from the opposition team, Cynthia Dahan Suiti. Second speaker, Kumari Pithi Ranipal. And the third speaker and team leader from the opposition team, Musammat Halguniyatta. Dear audience, in this debate session, there are three judges presented here. I introduce with you with the judges. Our first judge, Muhammad Mukhlisu Rahman Mukul sir. And thirdly, Muhammad Samsu Sadiqin Azad sir. Cordial gratitude to you and the position teams. At first, I would like to know you the rules of this debate session. Today, this, this debate session will be conducted in two parts. First one, constructive part, and second one, logic refutation part. At the constructive part, every speaker will get three minutes. After the two minutes, the first warning bell will ring. And after the three minutes, the final bell will ring. I repeat, every speaker at the constructive part will get three minutes to deliver his or her speech. At the first two minutes, the warning bell will ring. At the three minutes, at the point of three minutes, the final bell will ring. And second one, logic refutation part. In this part, only the team leaders will get the opportunity. Every team leader will get every team leader will get only 1.5 minutes. After the one minute, the warning bell will ring. 
and after the 1.5 minute, the final bell will ring. Now I would like to know you the match distribution points. Our honourable judges will give their marks on the specified points. First one, presentation five, body language and pronunciation five, theory and information ten, logic giving and refutation ten. Every speaker will be judged within 30 marks. I repeat, presentation five, body language and pronunciation five, Theory and information ten, logic giving and refutation ten. Thank you, everybody. Now I'm going to start the debate competition. Before starting it, I introduce with you the time controller, Mr. Rashid Sir, with us. And I'm A K N Jilani Sharkar. with you as a moderator. Thank you everybody. Abhid is a good student. He reads in class 7. On test, his uncle gave a smartphone as a gift. From then, he began to play games. Most of the games are online. Gradually, he studied the place of playing games and he also introduced with foreign players. As a result, he found in town subject. So dear opponent, how can you explain the matter? Thank you, Honorable Moderator, to give me the opportunity to speak in this debate competition. Today, our debate topic is students are getting ready for the impact of information technology. Honorable Moderator, if you talk about the three methods, I get three things. One, information technology. Two, students. Three, lady. Honorable Moderator, information technology is all processes and methods used for collecting, gathering, storing, managing, processing, and distributing all types of information throughout computers and telecommunication. A learner is basically a person who is enrolled in a school or other educational institution and who is under education with the aim of gaining knowledge, professional development and employment in the desert field. Lazy people causes aggression the themselves of society. Idolatry is a threat to the progress of a nation. Honorable auditor, the number of people use information technology in our country is 12, 14 billion. Honorable moderator, information technology is a very addictive subject which is renewing the studies of many students. Honorable moderator, the education we learn in, in school, college is for, from textbook. We gain knowledge from the discussions of teachers and professors on any particular subject but the poet wants to make us understand and talk in the poet Sauram Chatter. The education in e school and college is not enough to serve the we should always lead from every person or things outside his the house the poet says that there says that there are some very important lessons to be learned from the environment in which we are born. The poet learns to be generous from the sky, learns to be and activities from the wind. The poet has learned silence from the mountains to be great from the open of shine with radiation before the sun. To speak sweetly before the moon, the, uh, the poet has learned to build a heart like a dweller near the sea to move at his own speed near the river. He learned uh, more. The poet has become a uh, student of this monthly part of school. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. The first speaker from the position team. Now we would like to invite the first speaker from the opposition team, Cynthia Jahan Suiti, to deliver her speech. Honorable 
moderator and esteemed judges, skilled participants and audience. Welcome to our debating center. Today our debating center, around the topic is students are getting ready for the impact of information technology. For the logical, and actual and factual causes, I would like to establish my position against this topic. As a first speaker of opposition team, I would like to refine the motion. If you look this topic, we get three main points. First is students, second is getting lazy, and third is impact of information technology. Honorable Moderator, firstly I want to inform you that actually who are the students? A student is the person who goes to school to learn something. A student can be a child, teenagers and teenagers and adults who are going to school, but it may also be other person who learning such as a student and uh, such as college air or university. A student can also be a person who study for a specific profession. Secondly, getting lazy. Laziness is a state where a, where a man doesn't want to do anything. He is exactly unwilling to spend his energy. He is think doing a task. He is very, uh, it, it is very difficult, even impossible for him. This is state known as laziness. When a student just wants to live a comfortable and luxurious life, he just won't come use his physical energy. Then he will get getting too lazy. And third is impact of information technology. What is the impact of information technology? Information technology means the use of hardware, software, service, and supporting in infrastructure to manage and deliver information using voice, data, and videos. Information technology is introduced to make life easy by automating many processes. It makes it makes children independent learner. They can easily solve their problem and they can use technology to explore their own skill. Here are some concrete examples to how students can use technology to enhance their learning. Digital libraries. Digital libraries or online database allow students to access various academic and research materials including ebooks. OER, OER, Open Open Educational Research. OER refers to freely and available educational materials access online. Instructors can utilize OER in a platform to find textbooks, lesson plans, video, etc. Prepares students for the modern for the modern workplace to thrive in to thrive in the 21st century workplace. Students need more than a working knowledge of current technological skills and tech tools. They will like to encounter in the modern workplace by income. Thank you, moderator. Thank you very much. Thank you, Trophy Gulmondol, to deliver his case. Thank you, Honorable Moderator. Today our topic is students are getting lazy for the impact of information technology. Honorable Moderator, Internet is an integral part of our life. Internet is somehow involved in daily activities, but the Internet is having largely negative consequences for young students. Internet is integral part of our life. Internet is somehow involved in daily activities. But the Internet is having largely negative consequences for young students. 26.1% of the students consider the internet completely responsible and 59.8% consider it somewhat responsible. However, only 8.3% student students do not blame the internet among the among the 1173 participants in their study. 49.5% are female, 49.7% are male, and 0.8% are in the third gender. Among them, 13.82% of students are to 16 to 19 years old. 17.6.3% are 22 to 25 years old. And 10.5% are 26 to 30 years old. Among the students who participate in the survey, 18.6% and college students, 64%. 
are undergrounded student for 18.4 percent are post grounded student and 8.7 percent are job seeker. Honorable moderator, this information was highlighted in a virtual press conference organized by Ansel Found of Saturday, 10 June. The organization, the the name of the press conference was effect of internet use of student mental health, how vigilant need to be titled study Dhaka University of Physiology Department, Physiology Department, Alternate Professor Kamaluddin Ahmed Soduri, Mr. Biplop Sandro Sarkar, Programmer's Director of Information and Communication Technology, Dr. Maru Bahamed Khan, Deputy Civil Surgeon, Tanzil and Mr. Tassen Rose, President of Ansel Foundation. Honorable Moderator, according to the result of survey conducted earlier by the organized 17.73% student face negative effect due to the use of electronic device for various reasons including studies. This fact of figures highlights the importance of taking a closer look at the relationship between the internet and mental health in the youth community. Mm, foundation organized the survey of investigation, the matter in deep. Honorable moderator cannot it be said. Thank you, Honorable moderator. The second speaker, Rupikul Mundal. Now this is the time from the second speaker, for the second speaker from the opposition team, Kumari Bithi Rani Pal. Kumari Bithi Rani Pal. Judges, the teachers, opponents, friends, and others. My greetings to all those present here. Today, our evening topic is students are getting ready for the impact of improved technology. For the logical causes, I would like to establish my position against this topic. Only my first speaker of my team is wonderful defined the motion. By the throw of many information, I will prove that improved technology is not making students lazy, but also making their knowledge are limited in less time with less effort. Honorable moderator, before history had to be cut to make books, which result in more environment, environment pollution and various natural disasters. But now in the era of information technology, there is no need to cut free to make books. Now students have studied by adopting various uh, assertive of information technology, such as ebook, PDF, dictionary, YouTube, Google, and many more. So my dear opponents, how can you tell that the students here are lazy? So no moder honorable moderator. Students are not lazy here, but because of information technology, we are able to prevent our environment pollution. My dear opponents, friends, you have take about, uh, talk about various disadvantages of information technology, but it is really reasonable. Honorable moderator, we know that all things have good side and bad side, but which side of the user will use, the bad side or good side, depends fully on the use of users. Information technology cannot blame in any way. So opponents, how can you say that students are uh, becoming under the influence of information technology? Honorable moderator, no. Here are many fields, uh, here students are getting a good education. But opponents, friends, do you know uh, there are many online education institutes by using which students are doing sky high? The best example of uh, which is Ayman Sadiq who create a world by establishing the 10 minute school opponent friend seeing your situation how you say that i think you say uh, extensively that it, do not admit it that's why i am saying look at the world understand and understand definitely agree with us and say with uh, one voice that information technology is not making students lazy but it um, increasing the boundaries of their knowledge and it is also the lens time with less effort and less money and it, it uh, protects the uh, balance of environment pollution and it also take sorry and it also take making student uh, active punctual and so on thank you honorable moderator thank you all Thanks to the second speaker from the opposition team. This is time for the third speaker from the opposition team, Rukai Yakta. Rukai Yakta, the third speaker from the opposition team. Godfrey 
if you say it, now we do not use technology but live inside a technology. Do not use technology but live inside a technology. Thank you, Honorable Moderator. Our topic is students are getting lazy for the impact of information technology. Honorable Moderator, students say that the experience addiction to internet use is the lazy in their conceptual. In states, for 34.3% of students saving time on the internet has a very negative effect of their normal life. As you can tell, information, information and technology is be beneficial to students. The question remains with the opposition team. I hope you will answer the question. Honorable Moderator, a survey titled Impact of Internet of Internet Use on Students' Mental Health. How much quens is needed was published by Asal Foundation on Saturday. Further after a member of the found Foundation's Research and Analyst United Pre President, the result of the survey in a press conference against organized online. Honorable Moderator, one in four Australians are misusing technology. New research has revealed the research was carried out by the Australian National Research Organization for Women's Safety, led by Monash University Dr. Asher Flynn and RMIT University Dr. Anastasia Powell. The survey was conducted from 2022 on 4,586 Australians over the age of 18 about 30 people who are harassed due to misuse of technology were also interviewed. Honorable moderator, the, the study found that one in four Australian surveyed had observed someone using technology at least once in their lifetime. Honorable moderator, meaning of the internet addiction. Internet plays an important role in our life. Before the advent of internet, we used to go to government office months after getting our uh, work done. With the help of internet, we can do many things at home. Internet is a very big media of interference. Due to which 6 out of 10 people are addicted to internet today. Internet addiction refers to a person very very distressing when the internet connection is disconnected. Their mood is affected when data is, is not available. If a student gets a closed, closed room, a smartphone, Wi-Fi connected or unlimited data pack, it is a enough for pack, packing his time in underly or making him. Thank you, Honorable Moderator. Thanks the third speaker from the opposition team. This is time for the third speaker from the opposition team, Musabbat Falguni Akhtar. Information technology is making students lazy. 
or our mother tongue. Today, many good students are not able to good admission in a good educational institution. SSC has kept notice to 15 schools because of irregularities and errors in admission process. Source of BDNews24.com. So these students are not trusting the education system and are turning away from education due to the erosion of their rights. As a result, he is depressed and lives a lazy life at home. So my dear offer is which technology is responsible for this laziness? I think I will get a good reply from him. Honorable moderator, most of the schools in our country do not have any playground, source of brown ox study. Only 2% of students play in the playground in Dhaka city. And in our country, only 1,000 kindergarten and 263 secondary and primary schools have no playground. The students cannot do their physical sports and physical work properly and become lazy. As they, do, as they do not have enough space. Um, in this um, cause, we cannot see any information, um, technology influence behind the laziness of these students. Information technology provides diverse learning opportunities by the traditional apps and interest platforms available in students to explore subjects in um, innovation ways promoting in self-directed in learning seriously and they become more interested in students. Finally, so finally I want to say that actually clearly and clearly that in information technology is not making students but also making them more active and focused on their studies. So um, thank you all for thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Delivery of the third speaker from the opposition team. We have already finished the constructive part. Now we will enter the logic refutation part. Only the team leaders will get a chance to deliver their pieces. I remember that every team leader will get only 1.5 minutes to deliver their pieces or refute their logics. After one minute, first warning bell will ring. And after 1.5 minutes, the final warning bell will ring. For logic refutation, every team leader will get, will be judged within 10 marks. Every team leader will be judged within 10 marks for the logic refutation. So, for the first, I would like to call upon the third speaker from the position team and the team leader, Rukaiyakta, to refute logic. giving me the chance to talk again. Thank you, Honorable Monitor. The first speaker from the opposition team has said about the benefits of online media. Honorable Monitor, they, they have only, only seen the beauty of rose and forgotten the throne. They are opponent the students on getting addicted to winning bill media. It is a bad impact. The second speaker from the opposition team has said the students are reading more than than the previous by using information technology. Honorable moderator, the famous Bang Bangali writer Pramod Choudhury said, Bedi Shankramok Shastoy Noy. Dear opponent, when a student goes to read on ebook online media, he passes with the other unnecessary cities and wiser his time. It is clear that impact of online media and the students are getting lazy. The third speaker, has said encouraging rate of education in the recent years. Honorable moderator, we all know that not quantity. Quality is the best surrounded for the main students. They are opponent education rate of encouraging, but what about the quality? When on the A-plus awaiting student says, I am GPA 5, then question to you, are you in the represent of whole? So it is clear that the students are getting lazy for the impact of information technology. The opponent is just... Thank you, Honorable Governor. Thanks, the team leader from the position team. This is time for the last speaker of this session. The team leader from the opposition team, Musa Manfal Guniyanda. Information technology, um, information technology is making students lazy. Uh, 
but already my second speaker already said that everything has um, advantage and difficulty, but it is um, dependent on user. If you if you use this wrongly, um, negatively, so you are wrong. Yeah, it was service conducted by the Power SARS Center 20. 82 percent of these are repro reported that technology has a positive impact on their the ability to find information efficiency, learning to negative digital resource and um, evaluated their credibility in sense distress information technology. Information technology itself is not the primary cause of digital you have many causes of information. You have many causes of visualization. But um, how? But you, why are you only blame of information? I don't understand you. What is crossing the bus without know how to swim? So my dear opponents, um, um, it is so totally depend on a user how is they use this. If he if he um, use this wrongly, and they will be like. And if it is, it will be positive, and they will be positive. Thank God, I'm going to Thank God. Thanks the third speaker and the last speaker of this session. Thank you everybody, dear audience. We have enjoyed a nice presentation. On the topic of the students are getting lazy for the impact of information technology. On this topic, we have gave some discussion, theory, information and logics. Our honorable judges has provided their parts to all the speakers. At the very recent, we will publish the results. After publishing, uh, before publishing the result, I would like to get some comment from honorable judges. First, and first, our honorable judge, Mohammad Muklisun of Mukul sir, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Honorable moderator, honorable judge. Honorable audience, the director of this coaching center, the competitors, Aslam Alaikum, and other. I am very pleasant for getting a chance to enjoy like this program. Undoubtedly, it is an excellent program. We are Bengali. Our mother tongue is Bangla. We are not habituated in English. So to speak in English is very difficult as a Bengali. But both team has done excellent performance. I would like to give thanks both team for their excellent performance. English is an international language. English is needed everywhere in our life. If we want to get admitted in a reputed college, English is must. If you want to get a good job, English is must. If you want to go to abroad for higher education, English is must. So there is no alternative learning English. So I want to request to all teachers we should encourage the student to speak English so that they can speak, they can try to speak in English. I would like to again give thanks to the authority for arranging like this program and I would like to give thanks to both team, both competitioners. They have tried their best to give information from their own position. Especially I would like to give thanks to Cynthia. Her pronunciation is excellent. When she was speaking, I thought I am hearing a news from TV as an English presenter. So thank you everybody. Thank you all. Thank you very much, our honorable judge. We are very grateful to him. Now this is time for our second judge, Mohammad Muzaffar Hussain sir. Thank you.
السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ فسٹ آف آل آئی وڈ لائک ٹو تھینک آنربل مدر جو آئی ایم پریزنٹ ہیئر ریسپیکٹیبل ٹیچر اینڈ جزز Sir Rahman sir and present here Samsu Sadiq and Azad sir and our director of the coaching I am welcome everybody and present here both team and all of my students thanks upon English debate competition not Bangla we are talking in English we are talking in English all of we know that English is an international language if we want to do good in the other part of the world we have to learn English must. There is no alternative without learning English. So that uh, in our future life, if we want to get sons in a reported university like Dhaka University, Medical, or Buet, 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 uh, etc., uh, we have to learn English must. There is no alternative. At the same time, we have to learn other textbooks, Bangla, Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Mathematics, etc. Uh, but I want to talk with you uh, like Gandhi or in a rural area, such a competition. We can't think about this. Uh, students are debating in English and both the team uh, mostly I thank all of you um, they have debating I will stop it the students are getting lazy for the impact of information and technology. We know that in our room, if a student gets a smartphone and Wi-Fi connection or unlimited data pack, he will must pass his time ideally. And he may go to dark. At the same time, if he uses the benefits of information and technology, uh, he will make him beneficial. So I want to tell or want to advise all of the students we have to use the benefits of information and technology. If we use this, you can get enough information from this sector uh, by using YouTube, Facebook, or WhatsApp, or such as social media. We can collect some information from here. And we can inform ourselves uh, by the system. We can develop our minds and knowledge. Uh, most of the students know that in the school, college, or in universities, there are some backward sites. We don't have enough information here 
uh, if we use social media from here we can get enough information from here uh, by taking information here we can develop ourselves and we can motivate ourselves to establishing ourselves with uh, the higher, edu higher education at the same time uh, you know that most of the students in our country are going to abroad for uh, to take in, to take higher education by going there they are contributing their selves so I want to tell about this fact we have to learn English uh, not only learn English we have to talk and we have to we have to speak we have to communicate we have to practice if we practice this you will be able to talk like a native speaker so it's an exceptional arrangement organized by our respectable director at last again once again I want to thank, thank I would like to thank our respectable teacher AKM Zinali Sarkar and our di director Anwar Islam Rana sir for anything like this program outstanding program I'm very charmed to watching this competition to watch this competition in the class program thank you Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, Muzaffar Hussain sir. Now we would like to deliver our speeches in Bengali. Amra Banglai Firashi, Shamani Jabusti Deep, Amra Shudur Ekti Bidor Goro Bobo Korechi, E Bidor Ke Pokhwe Bhakti Pokhwe Dal Chamat Ka Thabe Dar Bhakti Pokhwe Lo Prastha Apun Korechi, Amra Tak Khud Thore Bicharok Dekh Kaste Ke Ta Jante Parite Palla. আমাদের ফল একেবারে প্রস্তুত আমরা ফল প্রকাশ করব এবং শুধু ফল প্রকাশই নয় প্রাইজ গিভিং সেরিমনি একসাথে হয়ে যাবে তো আমরা এই প্রাইজ গিভিং সেরিমনিতে অ্যাটেন্ড করার জন্য সম্মানিত বিচারক মণ্ডলীকে সকলকে মঞ্চে আসার জন্য বিনীত অনুরোধ করছি সারিতে চেয়ারগুলো সবাই নেবেন हाथ समय कम बारोटा बेजे एक मिनट आज शुक्रवार जुमार दिन प्रदर्शन करते सम्मानित विचारक मंडल नम्बर प्रदान कर नम्बर प्रदान स्टल निर्वाचित निर्वाचित फिर आसके আজকের এই বিতর্ক প্রতিযোগিতায় দুটি দলের মধ্যে একটি দল পেয়েছে দুশো পাঁচ নম্বর আর একটি দল পেয়েছে তো সুতরাং বুঝতেই পাচ্ছেন দুশো আঠাশ দশমিক পাঁচ যে দল পেয়েছে সেই দলই বিজয়ী 
আর আজকের যে শ্রেষ্ঠ বক্তা বেস্ট স্পিকার আমরা বলছি শ্রেষ্ঠ বক্তা পেয়েছেন সেভেন্টি থ্রি পয়েন্ট ফাইভ মার্কস তেহাত্তর দশমিক পাঁচ নম্বর আমরা বিজয়ী দল ঘোষণার পূর্বে শ্রেষ্ঠ বক্তা ঘোষণা দিতে চাই তেহাত্তর দশমিক পাঁচ নম্বর পেয়ে শ্রেষ্ঠ বক্তা নির্বাচিত হয়েছেন বিপক্ষ দলের বিপক্ষ দলের তৃতীয় বক্তা ও দলনেতা মোসাম্মদ ফালগুনি আকার অভিনন্দন এবং আজকের বিজয়ী দল দুশো আঠাশ দশমিক পাঁচ নম্বর পেয়ে বিজিত দলের সঙ্গে তেইশ দশমিক পাঁচ নম্বরের ব্যবধানে আজকের বিজয়ী দল দশম শ্রেণী বিপক্ষ দল অভিনন্দন ধন্যবাদ সবাইকে আমরা পুরস্কার বিতরণ করব স্যার প্রথমেই বেস্ট স্পিকারের পুরস্কার গ্রহণ করবেন মোসাম্মদ ফালগুনি আকার শ্রেষ্ঠ বক্তার উপহার গ্রহণ করছেন ফালগুনি আকার এসে পুরস্কার গ্রহণের জন্য অনুরোধ করছি বিজয়ী দলের সদস্যরা বিজয়ী দল পুরস্কার গ্রহণ করছে দশম শ্রেণীর পক্ষ থেকে একটি চৌকস দল যারা বুদ্ধিদ্ধিত্ব পারফরমেন্সের মাধ্যমে আজকে সিনিয়ে এনেছে বিজয় ধন্যবাদ সবাইকে আমরা বিজ্ঞান মেলার দিকে যাব দুপুর সেশনে আমাদের যেসব মুক্তিযোগী যে যে আয়োজনগুলো সম্পন্ন করবেন আমি তাদের প্রস্তুতি নাম ঘোষণানি পাল এবং কুমারী শম্পারানি